Hey guys. I, um, uh, no makeup, no hair, uh, hanging out. I think you might be a little tilted. Let's see. Maybe? So anyway. <laughs> um, it's Friday already and because of all the things that have been going on, I have not had time to make boxes. So I have cut a bunch of six inch from the 12 inch paper and I'm going to be making Christmas boxes today um, as much as I can without hurting myself. So um, quick health update and please don't be worried. I am working on it. Um, let me, how did I write it to my friends earlier today? So I'm on the Oregon health plan. Let's do a story time real quick. I'm on the Oregon Health Plan, and uh, not a lot of doctors accept the Oregon Health Plan. I looked in my area on um, their website and Pacific's Source website to try to find somebody who would take this, and the, uh, all the ones that are uh, in Salem that I could find actually are no longer accepting um, the Oregon Health Plan, and so I can't get them on the phone. Other anyway so I'm not exactly sure what I'm supposed to do so I don't have a primary care provider and without a primary care provider I can't get references and the references to be paid for by insurance so all of it has to be out of pocket so additionally I'm trying to avoid going to any kind of hospital situation if I went directly to an urgent care or hospital which what I've got going on right now would not be urgent care it would be the emergency room which is not the I don't think that's the proper way to go anyway. Um, I'm avoiding going to the hospitals anyway because they already have enough to do. And um, yeah, I it, so there's that part. Uh, and then I did get my disability. It's very, very, very good news. Um, it's been a long, hard battle and it's been wonderful. And I do have a small income now. And um, I still have not received my Medicare cards and I'm, I hope that I'm going to get them soon. So here's the process if I want insurance to pay for anything that's a specialist. I have to have the PCP, the primary care provider, I have to meet them, get them, like figure out if they're going to gaslight me, which is very common with what I've got going on, or um, not be willing to help me uh, and what not so I'll have to test out um, some primary care providers so let's say they have the best luck ever and I find a really great one that is willing to help me and and knows you know something about or or, or even is willing to research something about um, Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome and all the other issues that I have POTS and various I got a list so which is unlikely but let's say we get really lucky so I get this person and then and that's in like the next week and then, which is, uh, there's nobody accepting them. And then, um, that, that PCP will be willing to refer me to my specialists so that my specialist can get paid from somewhere or another specialist. Um, and, uh, that would require me being able to do several steps there that are so far, so far insurmountable. No joke. So this specialist that I have to go see about what's going on with my body now is going to be fully out of pocket. So I just wanted to do a little mini commentary on that of talking about what it takes when you're in the lull in between or you fall in between things where you only have Oregon Health Plan. Because Oregon Health Plan uh, is basically emergency only funding. And it's it's I appreciate it very much. I'm not saying I don't. But most doctors don't take it. So I have to go, it has to be like a full emergency room situation or urgent care for uh, Oregon Health Plan kind of to pay for it outside of a PCP, which I can't find. So um, I don't know if anybody else is having these problems, but I want to let you know, first of all, you're not alone. This is something we're all going to have to go through, um, I guess. And um, I wish you luck, and I hope you have better luck than I've been having. And the next chapter of that whole conversation is the problems I've been having now. I've got some pinched nerves um, inside my hips, the ones that run down through my hips and go out the front. Uh, so from my knees down, I have pins and needles and fire and 
complete numbness alternating in a fun grab bag. That's been happening for about two months. And, oh, let me check on my food. Interlude. Yep, I'm working on some Egyptian toast over there. Um, and recently we had, um, I don't know if you saw my other videos, but we got a little foster dog. And she doesn't do, um, neither one of our dogs have ever been socialized with other dogs. They're great with humans, but they're real weird about each other. And they haven't been really actually fighting, but they lunge at each other. And we've been keep managing to keep them separated, and that's a long different story. Um, but the first, within the first two days of having uh, Sadie here, our, our foster, I had to grab Mika a couple times to pull her away uh, while, because... Uh, Sadie had lunged at her face, and they had lunged, and it looks, it looks scary, but there's, there's no biting or anything, but it looks really scary. And also, Sadie, uh, she only weighs 20 pounds, but I swear she's got a dying son somewhere in her body. She weighs a million pounds to me, and I've had to pick her up a couple times as well, and that first, within that first two days, Brian and I have sorted out who's picking up who and who's managing which dog um since then but in that first couple days i um pulled uh, or pinched a disc or maybe a couple in my upper upper back upper back sure <laughs> so now um my palms and fingertips are needles and pins or numb depending on how bad it gets and sometimes i'll reach my arm out away from my body like if i go like this i can feel it go numb all the way down my this part of my arm uh so, like, on needles and pins, going numb, getting towards numb feeling inside my arm, and so that's what I need. To, that's why I need to go see a specialist, and and so I'm going to my usual specialist, Doctor Young, and um, sounded like someone was at the door. Nope. So it's just Mika walking around by the door. Sorry. <laughs> Um, so I'm going to see my usual specialist for this, um, Dr. Young. I love him. I've been seeing him for a thousand years. Let me check on myself really quick. Let me pause this. So one sec. So where was I? So anyway, that's what's what my uh, current journey is like. So in addition to everything else that's going on, uh, I have this weird numbness that feels, I describe it to the nurse that I spoke to on the phone is creepy when it's touched softly from my in, from my knees down um, if you touch it firmly it just it doesn't feel great but it doesn't it doesn't have this weird burning tingling like it's really hard to describe it's like needles and pens and fire mixed together and it makes me have to jerk away with whatever from whomever or whatever is touching me there so um, yeah, that's what's going on with me right now. It sounds like super fun. I figured I'd put some Christmas lights on so that uh, I could be festive, but also tell you what's been going on with me and why, you know, that's, it's been taking up a lot of my mental time along with having a foster where I have to keep both of them separated all the time. So, um, yeah, that's the quick update for right now. I'm going to throw this uh, video up. And I'm going to get to making some boxes and I'll make a video of that and probably funk it up tomorrow or the next day. I love you guys. I hope that you're happy, safe, and healthy. Um, please subscribe. It really helps me out and it doesn't cost you a thing. And, and the more views and the more subscriptions that I have, the closer I get to being able to monetize this channel. I am a ways off right now, but um, I'm working on it. I'm doing my best. And I, that's all you can do. Just do your best. Um, and just keep on trucking, keep on going, and, uh, yeah, my, other than the, my health issues, my life is, is really great, and I'm not being sarcastic at all. It's, there's a lot of good things in my life, and a lot of good people in my life. I'm very thankful, and I love you guys so much. I rambled enough, so that's the medical update. <laughs> oh, I can't reach with that arm. <laughs>